In my last video, I talked about the use of the accelerator and how it affects the weight distribution in your vehicle. At the end, I said I would do a demonstration of the acceleration sense, which is part of advanced driving. So I thought I'd pick up the, the book that's actually used to teach all advanced drivers, police, fire and ambulance, and read from here, acceleration sense, is the ability to vary vehicle speed in response to changing road or traffic conditions by accurate use of the accelerator so that you use the brakes less or not at all. And the result of that is you use less fuel, it causes less wear on the tires and reduces emissions. So I hope you enjoy this demonstration. If you do, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, so we are going to set off down this country road and this boat road is actually quite bendy um, but visibility if you look through and across the hedges is actually quite good so the part of using accelerator sense and a major part of all uh, advanced driving is observation and planning based on the information that you're getting from the road and I've got another video that I'll link to about information. But here you can see now that uh, I'm on a national speed limited road. Mirror check tells me there's nothing behind. I've got a priority sign ahead, so I'm looking ahead and there is a car approaching. So I'm just easing off the accelerator. They have come to a stop, so mirror check. And I'm back on the accelerator again. And as we come around here, we're into a right hand bend, so near side. We can get back on the accelerator now. We're 50 miles an hour in a national speed limited area, 60 miles an hour. Coming up to the brow of the hill, so just easing off the accelerator slightly until the road opens up. Mirror check, there's nothing behind. Now the road's opened up, so I can get back on the accelerator. And I can see a warning sign ahead. Uh, it's for an uneven road surface and I can see that I'm coming into a right hand bend. So again a mirror check and I've seen braking ahead so just easing off the accelerator. Now the speed difference is quite diff different so I need to use the actual brake at that point just to get my speed right for the bend. And then back on the accelerator to balance the speed as we come round and into a 30 mile an hour speed limited area. So. On the brakes we're now doing less than 30 miles an hour and ahead we've got some parked cars we've got nothing behind us still you can see there that we've got confirmation we are under the speed limit and ahead i can see a junction on the left and the car ahead is not braking so it looks like it's all okay ahead as we go around still just under the 30 mile an hour speed limit so i'm just balancing the speed with the accelerator now it's important to say that there will be times when easing off the accelerator to reduce your speed is not the preferred way of doing things and that's when vehicles are behind. So remember we have to take and use and give information. So if there are vehicles behind us and we need to slow down then we'd certainly consider the use of the foot brake so that uh, the vehicles behind us um, actually know that we're slowing down. But in other circumstances where there is no vehicle behind and we can adjust our speed because we've taken the information, then um, it's perfectly okay to use accelerator sense. So we're now going through a village, as you can see. We've got a left hand bend, we're still in a 30 mile an hour speed limited area. So I'm just using the accelerator gently just to maintain my speed under 30 miles an hour, just under. And a mirror check tells me that there is now one vehicle behind. And there's a vehicle in front, no one at the traffic lights, the national speed limit ahead, and a cycle path. So just keeping an eye on that cycle path case any cycles do appear and we've now got one that's quite close behind so we'll do a three mirror check so left mirror right mirror rear mirror and it's all clear so one behind like I say 
coming into a right hand bend so national speed limit 60 miles an hour now into that right hand bend I'm on the accelerator I've got a solid white line here into a left hand bend going downhill so still quite um, a bendy road slowing the road so I'm just coming off the accelerator but I'm back on the accelerator to keep the car balanced around the bend now moving back to position one Again, still on the accelerator to keep the car nice and balanced through the bends. And back into a position three or an offside position. Now we've got a lot going on here. We've got warning of ice, obviously not today. A right hand bend with a junction, a cycle lane, warning of country horses and ponies, and the road is going to narrow from both sides. So mirror check, we've now got one behind at a distance. Still on the accelerator, keeping the car balanced through the bends. We've got chevrons here telling us that this bend is quite tight, but we've got the car nice and balanced with the accelerator. Now still no car behind that I can actually see. So into a long sweeping right hand bend here, keeping a near side position. And I can see well into the distance now. So this is like I say, this is a national speed limited road at 60 miles an hour. We're doing now 57. We've got a patched area in the middle of the road keeping track of the park and also I'm going to be looking out for junctions as well because the ash areas are normally there where junctions are. So coming back into the near type position for this right hand bend, still got no traffic behind, still balancing that throttle as we come through to a left hand bend and we're now into that left hand bend and another left hand bend ahead, double white lines, no overtaking. No vehicles behind, just using the accelerator sense, gently easing off and back on to the accelerator to balance the car and keep the speed constant just under the speed limit. So I've got a double bend coming up ahead, mirror check, there is nothing behind me. So we're just 58 miles an hour, see a chevrons for a tight left hand bend, move into an offside position, double white line. I can see that tractor so I've moved to the centre of the carriageway and back on the accelerator again and now balancing the uh, accelerator as we go around this bend keeping in the correct position just avoiding that uh, grass cutter there and balancing the throttle again we've got no traffic behind ashed area again as we come into this left hand bend and now we can see a 30 mile an hour speed limit, so off the accelerator. We can't make that speed change in time, so on to the brake, getting ourselves down to 30 miles an hour as we go through the 30 mile an hour sign. So we've, we've actually gone for a few miles there um, with just the accelerator being used to adjust our speed. Um, we haven't really gone to the brakes very much at all. Um, and that is the aim of Accelerator Sense, is to gently use the accelerator, like I said, to control your speed, depending on the road conditions and the traffic conditions that are prevailing at the time. So I hope that's been a good demonstration. If you've got any comments or questions, then please feel free to leave them below. And um, if you did like the video, then please consider giving it a like. And if you'd like to be notified of uh, future videos, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.